This video will be a truck thing. Welcome everybody to my review on trucks, the sixth episode of Cars on the Road. I know it's been a while since we've been doing this, but I'm not only ready to dive into the show again, but also recognized a huge increase of views on the Lights Out review since September, along with some more interest in other on the road episodes. So there we go. I know there is lots of criticism on how this episode turned out to be, and I'll address this too. The episode starts off with Maida hooting when a truck passes but it isn't returned. When he dreams about being a real truck, Lightning assures him he is one already without much of a success though. However, when they enter a truck stop, Maida is entirely accepted as a truck and learns what being a truck is referred to. Lightning has entered the shop and doesn't notice the entire scene. In fact, I like the basic plot of this episode as it addresses fears and uncertainties Maida feels but hasn't openly expressed yet. He normally isn't hesitant, but of course he has to have some weaknesses and in this show we want to learn more about our favorite characters. What is the major strength of the episode though is how the issue is addressed. The trucks are singing a song. Many fans haven't liked this because the episode is merely more than a music video and only five to six minutes long. It neither follows a real plot nor may it feel like an entire episode me included, but I think it works quite well all in all. The show features nine adventures across the US with some episodes referencing the real world or other films. The Ramblers are based on Mad Max, The Legend obviously took some inspiration from The X-Files and B-Movie mocks the film industry. This shows how many surprises this trip has offered and how different every adventure actually is. Trucks helps add substance to this colorful series by slowing down and telling its story in the form of a song. The truck song is simply amazing and one of the best musical pieces we've ever had in Cars. It's unique in its own way, sounds groovy, differs from the simple average soundtrack from the show and has the potential to get stuck in your head. The music video has garnered more than 48 million views on YouTube, which makes it the second most popular video on the Disney Music Video uh, Disney Music Channel over the last two years. Neither Run That Race, 18 million or Ride, 17 million from Cars 3 have come close. But what I like the most is the message in this song. There is an entire truck's identity out there, something that connects all trucks around the world. Being a truck means something. The song shows the entire pride for these guys. They are proud of what they are and what they stand for. In fact, there is quite some substance to this. Haulers carry goods across the country. Garbage trucks get rid of our waste. Fire trucks save lives. School buses take children to school. Tow trucks like Mater are there to help you when you're in trouble. Infrastructure and daily routines often rely on trucks. However, there is another layer to the meaning of this identity I'd like to address. A newspaper article in Meta Private Eye references a conflict between cars and trucks due to a legislation demanding weight limits for trucks carrying cargo. It implies the existence of discrimination and racism in cars, so that shaping a self-esteem for trucks becomes more relevant. Segregationist thinking might be referred to unintentionally in the Meet the Cars book and Carfinder game. They state that Gray always knew that because of his size, he'd be hauling cargo across the country. Gas, lumber, maybe even steel like his dad. Seemingly, he hasn't had much choice for his job because his size is perceived to be a problem in other jobs. You could even go that far that he or his dad might have been offended for thinking about alternatives. Also, Dexter Hoover's bio states he dreamed of being a real racer. But a four-cylinder compact pickup isn't exactly designed for the racetrack. You may say it's goofy to have a pickup truck race and that it doesn't relate to discrimination in any way. On the other hand, in the cars world, semi-trucks and monster jam racing could result from larger vehicles trying to enter the sphere of racing. The positive effect of these new leaks can be seen in salt fever when there is an own League for trucks. Anyways, let's return to the actual episode. I'm just too enthusiastic about reading societal issues into these thing things, but I think the theory works quite well. The music video is visually quite appealing, so there are light effects, the rainbow road, some trucks driving into each other's trailer, similar to how Matroshka dolls work, trucks driving up and down the hills, and so on. These sequences also feature Todd, our favorite Pixar easter egg, and it's nice he's featured in that episode too. Um, this leads to another criticism though. 
how the trucks are designed. I personally love the bright colors and I don't mind what Mr. Docket calls Easter egg colors. The huge horns on the roofs of some haulers are iconic too. Besides, the variety of models doesn't look as if Pixar just copied Paul Velder's Gill or the next-gen haulers. While these semi-trucks are well done, I'm not a very big fan of some of their trailers as they don't show any logos, ID codes or anything else that makes them more interesting. Also, other trucks feature a copy of Tiny Luxworth in Cars 3, a reuse of Miss Fritter and one garbage truck even looks like Stinky from Made a Private Eye. I'm okay with the latter, but some more creativity would have been cool to see. In the case of Adam Rodriguez and Chris Reitman, I don't mind them being taken from Cars 3 because these models are merely seen somewhere in the background. Last but not least, I spotted one easter egg on the entrance of the shop. A sign says Ivo Koss Protected, which refers to Pixar's modeling technical director Ivo Koss. Next to Revo Koss' name in the Salt Fever episode, this is the second easter egg referencing him. All in all, Truck is an entertaining episode that refreshed the course of Cars on the Road through its catchy and thoughtful song. While its idea of a truck pride and its visual effects are charming, the character design partly lacks the creativity we are used to from Pixar, also because models are reused all of the time. What is more striking though is how brief the episode turns out to be even though its message and composition are articulated very well. Tell me what you think about trucks in the comments and make sure to come back to my channel when the next video drops.